Welcome to this video series focused on AI and ML at ClickSense. I am going to speak about the various integrations with Insight Advisor through Microsoft Teams, Advanced Analytics Connectors, and more. My name is Nasser Bumpus. I'm a product manager here for Augmented. I'm going to cover items that we have currently available in Click for this blog post, and also some that are close to being completed. The industry as a whole has made it clear that your daily user wants to leverage analytics and data to inform decisions they are making, but also within their daily workflows. As a result, integrations are clearly required. Integrations connect your software to third-party applications so that they can share information with each other. And we hear you. Allowing our users to work in the environments of their choice is a top priority. Being able to leverage the power of Click in their existing workflows is a strategic goal of ours here at Click. I would like to highlight the Microsoft Teams integration here and also show a small demo. I have taken a lot of feedback directly from customers on this item, and I'm very excited to be prioritizing this release. We are targeting the natural conversations that users have where they may be looking for a simple answer in a comfortable setting. Please note, this is currently already supported for Client Managed, and now we are building it for ClickSense in Cloud. Let's proceed with a short demo of the Cloud functionality. Please keep in mind that this is an early technical preview. Our popular customer request, a complete overhaul of our APIs, including the introduction of three brand new APIs to support partners using analysis types, NLQ, and business logic in their own environments, has been completed. Couple that with the release of full developer guides, and we have a comprehensive solution for customers and partners that choose to embed Insight Advisor, Natural Language Chat, and other bits of our functionality into their own products. The first endpoint that I would like to discuss here is the ask questions using natural language functionality endpoint. With this API, you can specify a natural language query. To do this, insert a simple JSON object into the body section of the API request. Field names and other details for the fields interpreted by Inset Advisor are the subjects of the query. This is the equivalent to the information that a user would see in the main user interface in ClickSense. The second endpoint is for users to retrieve information about the logical model within the application. This will list out each field and master item in your application's logical model while classifying it as a dimension, measure, or other item. It will also indicate whether the application uses the default logical model or a custom logical model. The third endpoint is for users to retrieve information about analysis types. The endpoint here in this tutorial provides a list of all possible analysis types that can be used to prepare a new analysis given the data model that is specific to your application. An additional endpoint supports generating the recommendations and insights as well. In addition to being able to ask natural language questions to Insight Advisor and ClickSense, you can also use this API to generate analysis by specifying a set of fields and or master items. I generally use this endpoint when looking to generate a visualization in a way that I've already defined. For example, if I want to return a radar chart, 
I would use this method to always return a radar chart alongside the corresponding natural language insights as well. With this, a customer or partner can build a complete web app, a mashup, and even more to analyze and visualize the data in the preferences that they have. Let's go ahead and actually test this out on this demo. So I have an application in my tenant that is tied to uh, IT ticket management, a you know, very common use case. I use it to track support cases by agent and the corresponding project, as well as how long these support cases are taking to close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call the endpoints into a web application that I've created. And once it loads, I have two options. I can ask a question using natural language query, or I can even make selections. So let's go ahead with a, another common use case. I'm going to select the ticket age measure and the project uh, dimension. Then I'll select a corresponding analysis type. I don't have to, but for this case, I want to select a ranking chart. You'll see that that returns this ranked bar chart. And there's a couple of items that I want to call out here. The first being these charts are actually Nebula supported. So there are tooltips and there's interactivity here as well. The, the second item I want to call out here is that I can actually make field selections here. So for example, I'm going to select this top project here and you'll note that the selection has been saved. What's really neat is that this selection is also going to be reflected in the host application in my tenant. So if I switch over to the tenant, you'll see, oh, there is the selection. And also all of my sheets have been filtered uh, accordingly. Really neat bit of functionality there. Last but not least, I do want to touch upon our AI and ML capabilities also being able to support integrations with a variety of popular tools like Amazon SageMaker, Azure ML, Databricks, and more, all to assist with the publishing and ingesting of models. So thank you for listening in. Um, this nec the next video will be around using machine learning services inside of Insight Advisor. Stay tuned.